Hey guys, I always hope here and today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 10.3.3 on the left versus iOS 11 beta 5. Now I wanted to do this comparison once iOS 11 was officially released to the public but you guys wanted to see the comparison now so I wanted to go ahead and compare the two to see how they're performing. I'm going to go ahead and power off both devices and we're going to do a few tests, the boot up test, launch some applications, scrolling, uh, just do some general testing through the software and then do uh, the battery performance to see which one performs better in terms of battery performance. So at a count of three, we're going to go ahead and power these up at the same time. One, two, three. Okay, and they're off. It looks like actually iOS 11 beta 5, the screen lit up first, but we're going to go ahead and see uh, which one boots up first here in a few seconds. All right, so both are almost at the home screen. Let's see. Oh, iOS 10.3.3 finish first as expected and then a few seconds later maybe five seconds later ios 11 beta 5. now let's go ahead and launch a few apps here to see which one launches faster and closes faster as you can see right away ios 10.3.3 will launch and close apps way faster than ios 11 as you can see there now control center let's go ahead and take a look at that one two three uh, not too much of a difference there nope let's go ahead and swipe over Oop, a little glitch there let's try that again Oh, there we go. So let's go over to the widgets. We can see there everything is as expected. Swipe over, swipe again. Pretty good. Notification center. I always have trouble with notification center in iOS 11. Let me know what you think because I've been having issues with iOS 11 when it comes to the control center. And I have these amber alerts going off a lot today. So let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, I don't know. I think iOS 11 is a little faster just because of the animation. Same thing with launching applications and uh, folders themselves. I don't have a folder. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I thought I didn't have a folder there in iOS 11. Folder speeds just about the same as well. So nothing drastic there. Let's go ahead and launch apps like the App Store. Let's do the App Store first. Hmm. Definitely iOS 10 loaded a little faster, but again, the app stores are different on these two devices. Do the iTunes store. When I tap on the icon for iOS 11, it launches faster, but it loads faster on iOS 10.3.3. Take a look. One, two, three. Whoop, this time was the same time around. Let's go ahead and do it with a fresh application like Apple Music. If I tap on both at the same time, it looks like iOS 11 launches faster, but 10.3.3 actually loads faster. One, two, three see that same thing so pretty cool it looks like in terms of speed ios 10.3.3 and ios 11 uh, launching applications are not too far separate so let's go ahead and do the camera here uh, let's go ahead and see if we can take uh, pictures here at a rapid speed one two three same amount of pictures same speed there for the shutter and uh, let's do some scrolling let's go to apple.com and uh, see which one scrolls uh, faster or better or not. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. There's actually a difference in the scroll. As you can see there, iOS 11 has this new scrolling where you just scroll all the way with one single swipe. iOS 10 just takes forever. I can't do the same thing. You see that? Look at over here. Let's go back to the top here. Let me show you. Swipe once. Swipe once. See that? I'm really happy they added this to iOS 11. It's just so much smoother, so much better. Now, these are animations. These are things that are actually possible to be changed within operating system. And I don't think it has to do anything with the actual performance. Let's go ahead and launch the Geekbench application here. Of course, we're going to do the test as always. And after this, we'll take a look at the time lapse. Let's see which one's uh, battery will last the longest. Let's see which one finishes the test faster in this case and see which one can complete the task faster. And the scores, of course, we're going to see here in a few seconds. So it looks like iOS 11 beta 5 actually finished the test first, uh, surprisingly. And the test here for the single core score on iOS 11 is 3501. A uh, multi core score is 5976. On iOS 10.3.3 is 3505 on a single core score. Not a big difference, actually. I was, I'm kind of surprised by these results. And the multi core score is 5978. So I want to say close to identical here in terms of performance. Very slight advantage for 10.3.3, but there's always that margin for error. So iOS 11 is actually performing 
pretty darn good for its fifth beta. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the battery, the time lapse for the battery performance. Both devices brightness was up to 90%, a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi was enabled on both devices. The same task were performed, browsing the web, watching videos, downloading apps, you know, all the stuff you would normally do on your device, listening to music, all that stuff. And iOS 10.3.3 performed slightly better than iOS 11. iOS 11, of course, is iOS 11 beta 5. Therefore, the performance of the battery is not complete there just yet so it's a good sign for iOS 11 it looks like Apple is optimizing the operating system because it was only by a good 10 to 12 minutes difference of on-screen time from iOS 10 to iOS 11 some additional testing that I wanted to do like launching the multitasker in the unlock of the device to see the speed for that as well but before we continue in case you had the question on why the, the Bluetooth icon looked like something is connected that's just the way it is displayed you see here nothing is connected on iOS 11 nothing is connected on iOS 10 the difference here is that on iOS 10 when nothing is connected it looks grayed out as you see there in iOS 11 even if nothing is connected it looks like it is but it isn't so just to be fair in case you guys saw that on the time lapse and had that question I know a lot of people get confused by that so let me go ahead and unlock both devices here and see which one unlocks first well, it actually looks like iOS uh, 11 did this faster let me go ahead and do that again one two three Yep, iOS 11's animation definitely faster unlocking the device. So let me go ahead and launch a few applications here just to go ahead and see which one is faster at multitasking in the app switch. One, one two, three. I want to say about the same speed, but it looks like iOS 10 just slightly faster. Let's go ahead and do that one more time just for sakes. One, two, three. Yeah, to me, iOS 10. I mean, it's just such a minor uh, speed difference that it just really doesn't even matter. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a comparison between iOS 10.3.3 and iOS 11 beta 5. As always, keep in mind, iOS 11 is still in beta. We could see at least three more betas before its official release. So Apple is doing a fantastic job with iOS 11. We have an official build versus a beta build and iOS 11 defended itself pretty, pretty good. That about brings it into this video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.